Hi Facebook friends, thank you for joining me. As you know I've been doing daily messages from your angels and your higher self but I've got quite a crazy week so I'm going to be doing a weekly uh, daily messages, <laughs> not daily messages, weekly messages um, and these are for the week of the 6th of November which is today, Monday, and through till Sunday. And what I've done is I've pulled seven cards, one for every day of the week, and eighth card for the overall energy. Hi, Will, thanks for joining me. And one angel card for the overall messages for the week. So, looking at Monday to Sunday then. So the cards um, that I've already pulled for you and had a look at, we're starting off, this is really seems to be all about um, work and career and what makes you happy. Um, hi Raman. Um, and so what we've got here seems to be a very similar thread throughout the whole week because it's talking about making shifts, making changes, looking at what you really want and what to do about it. So we we'll start with the first cup for Monday. It's the Page of Cups and pages are about messages and cups are about emotions. So it's really looking at, um, hi Grace, um, what, uh, hi Karen, I'm not doing readings today, sweetheart. I'm doing, um, instead of doing daily messages, I'm doing a weekly message for the week because I've got clients most of the week and I haven't got time to do a message every day to upload. So instead, I'm doing uh, messages for the whole week. I've got seven cards, one for every day of the week. Um, hi, Grace. And I've also got um, an overall card for the overall energies. And what I was just saying for those that missed the beginning, and you can see this on the replay, is that the energy for this week does seem to be about um, work and career and emotions. So it's about what makes you happy because these cards are saying you're not very happy at the moment and it's um, asking you to look at that. So we're starting off, um, that's okay Karen, uh, we're starting off with Monday. Today's card is the Page of Cups, um, Pages of Messengers and it's really asking you to look inside at yourself and saying, Am I really happy with my job, my career, my finances? Or indeed, this could be about a relationship, but whatever's work, <laughs> relationships can be hard work, can't they? Um, the, all of the cards going through the week, I'm just going to show you what I've got. Um, I've got the page, we've got the six of swords, then we've got the ten of wands. So I'm just going to go through these for the week because it seems to be a thread for the whole week, okay? So today is about looking at, am I happy? Um, and what area in my life aren't I happy with? Because cups are emotions, so where is the emotional disharmony? Today is saying, have a look at it, not so that you can get all miserable, but so you can look at and say, is there anything I can do to improve this? Because come Tuesday, tomorrow, we've got the Six of Swords. So the Six of Swords is a card that talks about escaping from a bad situation, a need for change, a need to um, change for the better, a need to really look at it all and say, do you know what, can't change it overnight, but can I be working towards changing it perhaps for next year? You know, we're in November now, maybe starting to set those goals, in which case, you can use the law of attraction to start drawing to you what you want, but you can't do that unless you know what it is that you want. And so this week is really about looking at what do I want, not necessarily right now, but what do I want for myself next year? And I'm going to just talk about that for a moment because January the 1st, is when we set our New Year's resolutions, which of course never last. But it's really about, uh, it's a whole new energy for a new year, which is saying, what do you want for this year? Because this whole thing about setting resolutions is you setting your goals and aims and intentions for that year. And the law of uh, attraction, the universe will start to draw that to you. And this week's energies are starting to say, prepare for that. Um, yes, we're moving to Christmas next month and it's busy and we're not saying go get another job right now, but the universe is saying this week there's a lot of energy around to support you to start that process of saying, 
you know, it's coming to the end of 2017. Am I happy with what I've achieved? What do I want to achieve next year? Um, what, what's not really working that well in my life and what can I change? Okay, so um, it's at, that card is saying what what situation isn't that good that I need to move away from? Because then on Wednesday we've got the Ten of Wands. Now the Ten of Wands, Wands is career and work, and it's overburdened and overtired, and it's really saying. Um, you know, this this isn't really working for me now, but the 10 is always about ending. So it's saying it's coming to the end. And I feel that this is related to 2017 as we move towards the end of 2017. Hi Jess, this isn't um, free readings, darling. This is your weekly messages for the week. Um, so you can watch the beginning on the replay. So I'm talking about Wednesday this week here. It's saying that this hard time that you've been having is coming to an end now, but it wants you to look at what you want to create instead okay because then we're moving into the nine of swords this is a card of being really tired not sleeping properly mind worrying feeling um, confused and indecisive so this week as I'm saying is really about looking at um, does your job work does your relationship work does your life work um, and you're having to do some thinking this week that's what the energy is about so you're thinking things through and saying what do I want to change and um, that thinking needs to happen because then we're moving into Friday Friday we've got the devil card and it's not as negative as it looks on that the devil card talks about moderating our behavior when we get a little bit obsessive when we get a little bit addicted what are we addicted to we over addicted to our job as our job becomes our life has our relationship become our world has our, are we drinking too much smoking too much partying too much what what is out of balance and having a look at that so that you can rein it back in and take control because really we want to always feel in control of our emotions and our world and our life and this card talks about not really feeling in control that it's controlling you so it's asking you to pull back and detach a little bit and say, you know, have I got carried away with this? Is this really taking over and I need to rein it back in? Now, come the weekend, we've got the moon on Saturday. Now, I know last Saturday we had the full moon. It was Friday in the in the States and Saturday in, in the UK. Um, and the moon is asking us to go within, to really look at our emotions. Thanks, Karen. Um, to look at our emotions and to look within. Don't be scared about what you're seeing. It's about paying attention to your dreams, your intuition, your instincts, and allowing that information to come up um, and so that you can examine it okay and that's going to bring up some choices because on Sunday we've got the lovers card now the lovers it can be about romance and relationships and stuff but it's more often about choices and considering things and options and so really these two cards for the weekend and the whole week hi Louise the whole week's energy is about having a really good look at your life um, going back through that week saying right what isn't working for me what uh, well it might be working okay but actually I want more I want better it's time Oscar stop playing with your bone and go and lie down mummy's working go and lie down please good boy <laughs> Sorry. Um, so this week it's saying as we're moving into November now, this reading is for the 6th to the 12th, it's saying use this week to look at what have you achieved this year and what do you want to achieve for next year and to start to um, align yourself with what you want for next year, all right? And it's not saying do it right now, but start thinking about do I want next year what I've got now? Do I want more? What do I want to change? Because the overall energy for the whole week is the Wheel of Fortune. Now the Wheel of Fortune talks about choices and change um, and it's, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful card. It's change for the better. It's saying this cycle, um, 
Oh, hi, Heidi. <laughs> I'm glad you found me. Um, it's saying this cycle of, uh, that you're in at the moment is coming to an end. Now, as I said at the beginning of this reading for the week, I feel that it's not necessarily about this week, start to finish, you're in this change and it's all going to be changed by Sunday. I feel that this week's energy is about saying we are starting to look at making a change that we're starting to then set our goals, set our aims, set our intentions for what we want for next year. Year because the overall energy from your angels is the Celeste card. Now this card talks about moving home or job, fresh starts, um, aligning yourself with something better, something more. So it's not necessarily saying you're really dissatisfied with what you've got, although many of you may be, but it's saying I want something different for 2018. You may start really moving ahead very quickly with that before Christmas, or it may be that you're just starting to investigate that, updating your CV, um, starting to perhaps update some of your skills that you think, actually, I would like to do that, but I don't have the training. So maybe I need to look at the training. Maybe I need to look at getting myself on a course because next year I want to move into something different. So if we look at all of those then, so the overall energy for the week from your angels is a Celeste card, which is about moving home or moving job. And as I said, it's not necessarily this week, but it's using this week to start setting those goals, aims and intentions. And the overall message from your higher self is the wheel of fortune, which is that change is necessary. We stagnate. You know, think about water. When it flows, it's... Um, constantly moving and it's co it's constantly clean when it's moving and flowing but when the river stops flowing it starts getting stagnant and it starts getting all green and yucky and slimy and horrible and it's a little bit the same with us we get into a space and initially it's new it's exciting it's vibrant we we're enthusiastic and then we learn and we grow and we develop and eventually we've learned everything we can learn there we've grown as much as we can grow from that situation now it starts to become stagnant and stale. We begin to feel our enthusiasm dropping. We start to get bored. We start to, um, we lose the pleasure in it, whether it's a job or a relationship or a home or a location, we start to lose the pleasure in it. That's the point where we really should start thinking, okay, I've outgrown this space. It's time for me to move on. Now, very often we don't we don't like change and we get a bit stuck and we get a bit stuck in a rut that's when it'll start going from it being still and stagnant good morning kim to being green and slimy and yucky okay that's when it really starts getting worse and worse and this is when we really if we don't take action the universe will do it for us and our angels will do it for us. This is where you'll suddenly find you've got a new boss you don't get on with, or you suddenly find you'll be made redundant, or you suddenly find, or you suddenly find. It's the universe's way of saying, hang on, there was a sell-by date to that. If you look back, you can see when the pleasure started to go. You can see where it started to go wrong. That was the universe saying, and your higher self and your inner self saying, we're bored now, we've done, we've done what we can here, it's time to move on. Okay, so that's the overall energy for the week. Change, change that's necessary, change that's good. And as I say, it's not about change this week, don't go quit your job, but it is about saying, maybe I need to start looking at what I want for next year. What is it I want for next year? How can I make that happen? And start aligning with that. So just to recap then, Monday we've got the Page of Cups. So this is the uh, messages emotionally get from yourself really, saying where is my happiness? What isn't flowing? What isn't working for me? Heidi, if you have any interest in coming on my channel for an interview, email me or send me a message. Yes, that'd be lovely. I'd love that. Thank you, Heidi. I will do. Okay. So that was Monday, Tuesday, Six of Swords. So Six of Swords is about needing to escape a situation that's no longer serving you and wanting to move on. Wednesday is the Ten of Wands. This is looking at where our burdens and those burdens coming to an end. And um, only we can make those changes. Um, Thursday, we've got the Nine of Swords, which is about not sleeping properly, thinking things through, feeling a bit tired. So don't let these um, thinking things through keep you up off the night. Okay. Friday, we've got the Devil, which is about obsession, addictions. Where is 
And I still particularly feel this is either about relationships or work. Where, has, where have we lost the balance? Where the relationship's taken over or the job has taken over? We're no longer enjoying our job. Our job is controlling us. We've become the job. We've lost our own identity. Saturday and Sunday, we have the moon, which is looking at your dreams, your instincts, your intuition for that guidance. And Sunday is the lover's card, which is about those choices, as I say, okay? So there's a lot of messages there for you this week, really about driving you forward for next year. This is preparation time, I feel. Um, I'm not brilliant with astrology, but I know there's an awful lot going on in the universe in terms of um, communication, particularly where one of the planets has moved into a particular house and all the rest of it. Um, so use this time to start planning, preparing and to look at where do I want to be in the new year. Okay, so instead of daily messages, as I said at the beginning, I've not got time to do a message every day for this week because I've got quite a few clients and bookings and so I'm doing a weekly reading instead and I decided to do it live um, rather than I usually record it and upload it. So this has been lovely to do this reading live. And it's just enough time for me to tell you, for those who haven't seen it on my Julie Pool online page, I've just set up my first um, teaching group on, um, on Facebook. I've actually been teaching um, spiritual development and circles and classes and seminars and talks since 2001. I've taught hundreds and hundreds of people about all sorts of things to do with energy and spiritual consciousness. So I've set up a new group. We're going to start on Monday and it's going to be half an hour live teaching from me every week on different subjects. Um, and I'm going to be starting off predominantly about talking about energy, how to cleanse yourself, how to cleanse your home, how to, if you're in a negative job, um, not ne negative job, that's the wrong word, but if you work in challenging negative situations, like many of my friends work in um, uh, women's refuges or drug and rehab or uh, abuse centers, and it's very easy to get contaminated by all of that energy. So I'm gonna be teaching you how to cleanse yourself and avoid that happening and protecting yourself. We're also gonna be talking about crystals and angels and um, color um, and cards as well, how to use tarot cards and angel cards safely, how to trust your intuition. So this is gonna be a weekly class I'm gonna do. It, you do have to pay, um, it's 20 pounds or I think that's $33, no, $26 a month. And there's gonna be a class every single week. It's a closed group, so as soon as you have paid that fee, on PayPal, I will invite you to the group and it'll only be people that are paying in the group that have access to it. Nobody else will be able to see it. They'll see there's a group, but they won't be able to see any of the posts. So I'll be doing a weekly class to teach you and it will be live so you can be posting questions and can you tell me about this and can you tell me about that? Um, and we'll um, do weekly classes, including meditations and how to de-stress and how to relax. Um, and then you'll also have access to me in between classes. If you post a question, I will do my best to answer at the same day. Um, and so basically you've got access to me quite a lot for 20 pounds a month, which is less than a fiver a week. Um, and so when I used to run my circles, people were paying me 30 pounds a month to come to me. Um, now we can do it online and we can have dozens and dozens and hundreds of people joining um, and all being part of that. I'm going to be doing it at eight o'clock on a Monday, but if you can't join me live, that's absolutely fine. Post your questions in advance and I'll answer them. Um, and also, you know, it's going to be available for you to be able to watch that live replay as often as you want, as many times as you want, whenever you want. So once they're on there, that week's lesson, you can just go and watch it again and again. What she say there? What she mean there? And you can post questions. And for those of you who can join me live, that would be great. If you can't, don't worry though. We've got people on different um, time zones and some people in America six to eight hours behind, some people over towards India and Kuala Lumpur who are six to eight hours ahead. So I can't fit it in time-wise for everybody. I was thinking about doing it during the day in the UK, but then most people in work. So I'm gonna go for eight o'clock Monday nights. But as I said, if you can't join me live, don't worry, because you'll still be part of that group and have access 
to play the live replays a little bit like you play these live replays but this will be specifically in a group that you have access to once you have um, paid that monthly fee and there's no commitment to join for a year or anything you join and you pay for a month and you're on there and then at the end of the month if you haven't paid again you, you've not renewed then I'll kick you off the group so um, share this with your friends so that other people um, can join in too and they may want to join the group and it would be lovely lovely to see you the more we get on this group the more energy there's going to be it's going to be amazing energy um, and if we get enough people then I'll start looking at um, being able to use a program where you can come on live with me as well well. Um, Karen, thank you so much for the weekly reading. Oh, you're very welcome, sweetheart. It was lovely doing the daily readings, but, um, you know, it's taken me five minutes to record it and then half an hour to edit it, upload it and everything else. And I haven't got that time every morning this week. So I think these weekly ones will go better, but let me know. It'd be lovely if people give me feedback and comment that, you know, no, I really like the daily ones or no, weekly one is great. To have a weekly one that's more in depth, you might find more useful like this reading has been today. I'm going to be back on live on Wednesday lunchtime about noon to do little mini live readings just for half an hour and they're going to just be one card reading specific for you. I'll do that Wednesday lunchtime and I'll also be doing that live on Thursday night uh, around about eight o'clock. Um, and so eight o'clock on Thursday will be for a, a, about an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Wednesday lunchtime is just half an hour. And if you'd like to book a private reading with me, all the information is on my services page, um, my services tab on my Julie Pool online page. And readings are £25 for 15 minutes. I think that is $33. And you can book them in 15 minute slots. So if you just need to know a particular question of a particular issue, 15 minutes should be enough um, but if you want to know about several issues it won't be enough so if you just want to know about work 15 minutes would be enough or just about a relationship but if you're looking at home love relationships and everything else you'll probably need half an hour anyway that's as much as I've got for you this week so I'll see you on Wednesday for the live mini readings uh, which are free and I will see you on Thursday night if you're joining me there for the live mini readings which are free and hopefully I'll see some of you in my new group for um, spiritual development, spiritual consciousness, understanding energies and angels and crystals and colours and everything else you want to know. All right, thank you for joining me today. Have a lovely week for those I don't see again through the week and thanks for joining me today. Lots of love. Bye. Bye.